this is a closer look to the Starlink uh, router. It's made out of aluminum and plastic. There isn't any buttons. It's very slick looking. I like it a lot. There is a reset button, but that's about it. This is the Starlink dish, and it has a single cable, Ethernet cable. Everything is powered through that single cable, including the motors. And the closer look to the power supply uh, really doesn't feel cheap at all. And I really appreciate the bold labeling of white side with the white cable, black side with the black cable. And yeah. Okay, let me walk you through the app. You basically start it up and you click Start Setup. Make sure everything is connected. Um, and then you go to um, Open Wi-Fi Settings. And then you join the access point, the default one. And uh, it's going to take its time and then it will give you the chance to enter the uh, SSID and the password. And if you decide to skip it, then you won't be able to recreate the password unless you reset the Starlink router. Uh, yeah, so at the beginning, the dish is looking for um, the um, uh, satellites out there. Um, so it's going to take its time, calibrate itself or whatever. Um, so this is another useful feature in the app. You could uh, click uh, check for obstruction and um, and then you can see if there is anything uh, in between the dish and the sky. In this case, I have a couple of trees, but it shouldn't cause that much of a, of a problem. Um, but yeah, just uh, after a little while, uh, everything um, got connected. And I will show you the uh, speed tests between the current existing uh, internet service and the internet uh, speed for the Starlink. Before the speed test, I really would like to uh, show you how the dish was moving around. I thought it was super cool. Granted, that will make it uh, much harder for the uh, dish to find the satellites, but uh, yeah, let's have fun. Try to move it and see if uh, I can get it to move. Look at this. It's searching. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Space technologies. All right, it's okay. Sorry, buddy. I'll put you here. Well, it's actually kind of warm. It's not really warm, but maybe my hand is co so cold. <laughs> yeah, when, when we uh, unboxed it, we really thought this is like cardboard like, or something that we wanted to remove, but it's not. Don't do it. You don't have to like orient it whatsoever. Just put it, point it to the sky and uh, it will find its thing and uh, yeah it was easy to put it on this stand you just <laughs> literally put it in and twist it so it kind of locks and and that's it it does have holes here to mount it but uh, it doesn't come with any hardware like screws or tools or any of that stuff to uh, actually fix it to something so this is something you have to supply and also this cable right here it's uh, it's actually a really good cable it's made for the outdoors but uh, it has to be outdoors and the router and the cable is indoors so you have to figure out how to wire this into the home uh, so yeah we'll we'll take care of that next all right let's do some speed testing shall we first of all let's make sure it's only wi-fi connection and we'll go make sure we connect it to Starlink and off we go and I'll save you the time it takes for the test uh, since I'm going to show you multiple uh, tests so the first test uh, for the Starlink connection as you can see, you can see um, 58 megabit per second it took um, 
32 milliseconds uh, latency and 15 megabit per second for the upload speed the second time as you can see it got uh, a little bit better so just to give you a little bit of an idea where we're at without Starlink the current internet speed provided by CenturyLink um, if you look at it it's really slow um, if it's above 5 megabit per second that's honestly um, a reason to celebrate yeah you can see the latency is uh, 69 uh, millisecond with an upload speed of 4.3 megabit per second so now let's go and uh, retest uh, Starlink connection for the third time and unfortunately this time Starlink completely dropped the connection we got zero across the board there's no internet connection so whenever this happens uh, this is the app it tells you it's offline there is no connection and it will keep trying sometimes it can succeed in reconnecting and other times uh, can't uh, you could uh, also check out the statistics uh, uh, kind of one of my favorite features of the app uh, there is no admin portal yet uh, hopefully uh, it will be available soon if uh, Starlink cannot reconnect then another thing you could do is to uh, reboot Starlink the great thing about rebooting uh, Starlink is that you could do it from the app itself and uh, it doesn't take a long time the whole um, rebooting uh, uh, process takes uh, only a few seconds really uh, but once once it's back online oh boy Starlink is flexing its muscles the speeds we're getting at this point it's uh, it's a completely new experience it's <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just really 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 fast especially the first uh, 24 hours uh, Starlink uh, kind of still in the calibration mode and it gets better and better uh, the more uh, it can know its position and its relation to the satellites and we also did move the uh, uh, Starlink dish uh, in different spots to see like maybe there are other areas that have less obstruction um, it does help uh, a little bit but uh, looks like uh, um, the best thing you could do is just leave it as is um, and after uh, 24 hours uh, it's actually um, got a really good uh, perspective of where where it's at where the satellites at so I don't think uh, Starlink can be used on a moving vehicle um, but once you're done moving that vehicle you, you stop it and uh, if it's within an area that uh, has satellites and uh, there are also some ground stations that that um, SpaceX are uh, installing um, I'm not sure um, how they work out with the uh, satellite made maybe it's because of uh, bandwidth redistribution uh, yeah I'm not I'm not too sure about that um, but yeah once you leave the dish uh, where it is for 24 hours um, it looks like it gets really better and better we've had uh, really <laughs> interesting weather we had snow, we had rain, we had very strong winds, and uh, man, this, this device is definitely solid. The latency is uh, roughly around 20 milliseconds. To give you some context, uh, it takes a human being uh, 100 milliseconds to 150 milliseconds to blink. So if you blink really fast, that's around 100 mi milliseconds. In that time, there are five data packets went back and forth five times. <laughs> wow. I mean, check this out. Download speed, 220 megabit per second. And f and uh, upload speed, 14 megabit per second at killer latency time. Yeah. And uh, with regards to the price, uh, it's pretty much the same exact price uh, 
with our current existing uh, internet service provider.